People always look at things in my life like, oh, Demir's got a seven figure business and Demir's like living wherever he wants and takes these big mini retirements. And that stuff is great. Now, I love it. But I'll tell you one of the most luxurious things I have is that I'm a student struggling to wake up in the morning, affecting my productivity all day. How can I make getting out of bed easier? This might be the most brief one of all get more sleep. There's a couple things that can happen that can create a domino fall that results in being chronically underslept. Number one is just partying and having fun. So, hey, can't hate on it. I did it in my time. But you also have to ask yourself, where's the leverage in all of this social outlets? Meaning like, what do you really want? Are you looking to find that significant other? Or are you looking to build lifelong friendships? And let's ask ourselves like, which events are leveraged, which events aren't? And if I had to do an 80-20 analysis on all of my social life, what would be the 20% of the events that I go to that are really giving me 80% of my outcomes that I want in my social life? Number two is like, let's cut out the stupid stuff, like staying up too late watching Netflix, right? And you can use things like freedom.to is a great app that will shut things down on your computer and actually get you to a place where you're not tempted to stay on longer that you need, than you need to. All right. Now, as we keep on going, you might even ask yourself, if I just need an inordinate amount of sleep, what if I could also augment that with a nap? So this is what I do. I used to sleep a lot and I just wasn't getting enough sleep. And so then I would just add in a nap. So it's great. Studies do show that it all counts. All too often, what I see people doing is they'll just cut out sleep. Instead of working more effectively, instead of making harder choices, it just seems like the easiest choice to work out sleep. And then they say, Demir, how do I get up in the morning when I'm totally exhausted? I'd rather not answer that question and ask the better question, which is why are you totally exhausted in the morning? Why are you not waking up ready to go? And I'll, I'll just say this game, just as a personal share. I never get up like, hi, let's go. Like I woke up today at five o'clock in the morning and even at like 7.30, I was sort of like still like moving. But there was a point at which I, I was ready to wake up and begin the process. I call it the long process of waking up. That's the other thing is you may want to, instead of trying to wake up right before class, what about waking up an hour before class and giving yourself that gift of a slow start? I do mean that. The gift of a slow start. People always look at things in my life like, oh, Demir's got a seven figure business and Demir's like living wherever he wants and takes these big mini retirements. And that stuff is great. Now, I love it. But I'll tell you one of the most luxurious things I have is that I get up at five and I don't really have to start work until 10. That's a luxury I get to enjoy every single day.